Reducing the background noise from your audio recordings shouldn't be a complicated or time-consuming process. Hi, I'm Josh from Wondershare Demo Creator, and today I'm going to share with you two free methods to make your track easier on the ears. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss the latest tips and tricks for video creation. Having to reduce audio noise can be a real pain, and recording clean audio can be challenging, especially in noisy environments. Whether it's background noise or less than ideal equipment, sometimes you end up with hissy audio. Luckily, you've come to the right place. Before we get started, room tone. There is one tip that will help immensely with this process. If you're the one responsible for your recording, remember to record at least 10 seconds of room tone. Did you hear that? That's room tone. Room tone is simply a few seconds of recording the natural noise of the environment in which you're recording, with no talking, nail filing, or heavy breathing. Even if you can't hear anything, a sensitive microphone will pick up ventilation noise, computer fans, and more. Taking room tone will serve as a baseline for the software to remove noise. Having a section of room tone in your recording is always a good practice, but if you know you'll be needing to do noise removal later, definitely don't forget. If you don't have control of the recording process, you can still usually find a bit of room tone in the recording. You can find room tone in a break between takes, or time at the beginning or at the end of the file where nothing much is happening, and usually that's enough to work with for noise removal purposes. How to remove audio noise in Audacity. So how is noise removal actually done? Well, let me show you. If you aren't looking to invest in high-end audio software, Audacity is a free piece of software created and maintained by a community of programmers and audio experts. Audacity accepts a wide range of audio files and has a perfectly serviceable noise removal tool. Step one, select your room tone or silent section from your audio. Step two, under the effect menu, select noise reduction. Three, click get noise profile and the box will appear. Step four, select all the audio that you want that background noise removed. Go to select and then click all. Step five, repeat noise reduction. Just go to the effect menu and select. Finally, listen to your clip and make sure that your clip doesn't sound muffled. As I said before, Audacity has a wide range of audio file types and has a perfectly serviceable noise removal tool. It's great for cleaning up audio for a podcast or music. However, the one catch is that it's audio only. If you use it for vocal tracks in video, it's time consuming to export your audio tracks, clean them up in Audacity and resync your audio and video again. It may not be the smoothest workflow. It's not impossible, but it's not the most efficient way to remove noise, especially if you've already cut up your clips in the timeline. Now, Wondershare Demo Creator has a denoise feature built in, which is dead simple. It still works with your room tone, but it's not necessary to select the section on your clip because Demo Creator will do that for you. After screen recording and voice recording, go to the video editor. Select the audio track and enable the denoise function. You can choose the high value. By removing noise on the timeline, you save the trouble of importing and exporting back and forth from an external program like Audacity and it's much easier to make changes quickly. Okay, so those are some tips on how to reduce audio noise in your recordings. Audacity and Demo Creator are both free for audio noise reduction. Audacity is recommended if you only need to process audio, but if you want to process recorded video, then Demo Creator is a better choice because it can not only edit audio, but it also has a rich video editing function and screen recording function. It can meet many different needs. Last but not least, please remember that while software continues to get better at saving audio, doing everything you can to minimize noise in the initial recording will always be the best bet. Hey, if you found this video useful, do click the like button and leave a comment down below. And if you wanna see more videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And see you next time.